first java programming for selenium what we have to learn say <coughs> java has three important editions java standard edition or core java core java is public term but official term is java standard edition you can't find core java term in official website of java oracle.com they never used core java term in their documentation java standard edition or public term core java next edition java enterprise edition or advanced java next java micro edition a micro edition for small devices like mobiles okay <clears throat> for our automated testing uh, using selenium advanced java is not required micro edition is not required just java standard edition or core java okay next in this java standard edition what what concepts required what concepts are required for our automated testing uh, first focus on java environment setup java environment setup download and install java software next download and install or extract eclipse ide for writing and executing java programs next set java environment variable path okay these three steps for java environment setup download uh, see one second first step download and install java software jdk java development kit next second step download and install uh, eclipse ide software next third step uh, set java environment variable path in your operating system then uh, you can launch eclipse ide and uh, write and execute java programs why java environment setup see to write and execute java programs then java environment is required okay after installation of java you can't get the editor for writing uh, no built in editor for writing java programs suppose if you install python after installation of python you can get a python shell in that shell you can write python programs and execute here no built in editor with java software so you need to install eclipse ide like uh, software next focus on java keywords and identifiers see we have several java keywords key to the code and identifiers keywords for example if is keyword for is keyword new is keyword import is keyword pay suppose you take any language we require keywords and identifiers to write programs for example access and modifiers are keywords public private uh, next uh, protected etc next uh, data types are keywords uh, in java primitive data types are keywords not non primitive primitive data types are keywords uh, for example int char double long etc next conditional statements are keywords if else switch next loop statements are keywords for while do while etc uh, so first focus on java keywords next identifiers you know what are the programming identifiers see variables see we name variables variable names are identifiers variable names are identifiers uh, variables are identifiers class are classes are identifiers method names identifiers those are defined next method names variable names object names class names etc uh, next focus on java syntax syntax means system grammar uh, for example java is case sensitive language 
all java keywords are small letters next uh, main method is used in java programs to execute the programs uh, see if you don't use main method in your java program then you know uh, you can't execute the program next method name should start with small letter class name should start with capital letter etc uh, next java supports explicit declaration of data types explicit declaration of variables java code blocks uh, conditional blocks loop blocks method blocks etc enclosed with curly braces etc formalities are there for uh, one more thing every java statement should end with semicolon like say if you want to uh, write and execute java programs first you need to familiar with java syntax next java is object oriented programming language suppose c language structured programming language c++ object oriented java object oriented c sharp object oriented so uh, uh, if you want to learn java you need to familiar with uh, java object oriented programming concepts first basics next uh, java object oriented programming principles are principles are there you need to learn principles also uh, first focus on basics uh, what are java object oriented programming basics class what is class how to how to create class like object how to create objects in uh, user using user defined class and uh, predefined class next method what is method built in methods user defined methods constructor special kind of method next interface so you need to familiar with uh, what is class what is object method constructor and interface next focus on java program structure java program structure see first documentation section uh, that is optional next uh, package package statement next import statements next uh, interface section next class definition next uh, declarations static variables and uh, methods declaration next main method within main method we write uh, our programs declaring variables declaring uh, declaring uh, constants or final variables next writing uh, independent statements writing print uh, print statement also independent statement next writing code blocks uh, conditional block loop block uh, etc calling methods etc next focus on java comments say comments writing comments in your programs is optional it's not mandatory if you don't write comments in your programs then no issue you can execute your programs and get your uh, get desired output but if you write meaningful comments in your programs then uh, your programs are readable see uh, in computer program with two important things one is rule another is best standard one is rule another is standard uh, comments come under standards comments are not rules okay next java modifiers say we have two categories of modifiers in java java access modifiers public private uh, protected default next non access modifiers like uh, final static abstract etc say our automated testing using selenium point of view modifiers limited use uh, for example in access modifier we don't go for private protected modifiers most of the time we may use public access modifier why uh, ours is teamwork we share 
our automation resources among team members. So we prefer public access modifier. In non-static, uh, non-access modifiers, uh, static modifier uh, may be used for declaring static variables and static methods in our uh, test cases. But remaining modifiers, uh, abstract, etc., synchronized, etc., modifiers we may not use. Okay. Next, Java data types. See, specifying uh, data types. See, in our Selenium test cases, we use different types of data to specify the data. Data types are important. Data types for uh, data type specification. Next, variables for storing or holding data. So, our automated testing point of view, you need to familiar with data types and variables. See, data types, uh, we have two categories of data types in Java programming. Uh, one is primitive, another is non-primitive. Primitive, primitive uh, integer data types, byte, short, uh, int, long, next, uh, 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 relational uh, data types, uh, float, double, next, uh, next character data type, character, next, conditional data type, uh, boolean, eight primitive data types. Next, uh, non-primitive data types in Java are objects, uh, string, array, etc. Next, variables, Java variables, variables for storing or holding the data in our test cases. Uh, we have three types of variables in Java. Uh, local variables, instance variables, local variables, static variables, and non-static variables are instance variables. Next, operators. See, operators are used to perform mathematical comparison and the logical operations. See, here important categories of operators are arithmetic operators, comparison operators, or relational operators. Next, Assignment operators, next logical operators. Next, control flow. See, uh, you take any programming language, uh, we have three types of control flow. Decision making statements are conditional statements, example, if, loop statements, example, for, while, etc. Next, branching statements, uh, example, break, continue, etc. Okay, next string handling in Java. Say, uh, in our automated testing, this concept string handling is important. Say, in computer programming, whenever you read data, any data, uh, whether it is number or text, if you read data in computer programming, then it uh, considers the data as string type data. So string is more important in, in programming as well as in our automated testing also. String handling. Next, Java data structures. Say uh, for storing single values, you, ca uh, you can use data types, uh, primitive data types and non-primitive data types. If you want to store multiple values at a time for the data structures required, Data structure, best example, array. Array is data structure. Array list is data structure. Okay, if you want to read a tabular format data, Excel data, uh, then array required. Okay, familiar with data structures. Next, Java I.O. Uh, in this Java I.O., read how to read user input using Java. Next, how to display our program output on the console. Next, file handling reading and writing files uh, next database connectivity see uh, java supports uh, java has a separate uh, library called jdbc java database connectivity uh, using the jdbc api you can uh, communicate with uh, databases say selenium doesn't support database testing directly with the help of programming language uh, you can conduct database testing uh, for example uh, how 
how we test uh, database using selenium uh, if you use uh, java java jdbc jdbc stands for java database connectivity using java jdbc selenium can communicate with our database application database and conduct database operations and conduct test operations next java methods java methods say in structured programming we have functions for code reusability in object oriented programming no functions concept but equivalent concept is methods methods for reusability code reusability in our test cases uh, we may use reusable in our project for writing test cases we may use reusable functions for creating reusable functions for our test cases we use java methods uh, in java methods we have built in methods and user dependent methods user dependent methods for creating reusable functions built in methods you can use built in methods as it is we have string built in methods operations on strings next character methods operations on characters number methods operations on numbers array methods operations on arrays date and time methods etc next java exception handling say uh, in our selenium test cases uh, sometimes we need to handle runtime errors to handle runtime errors in our test cases uh, we use java exception handling code okay using exception uh, programming exception handling code we handle runtime errors in our test cases next java object oriented programming principles we have four principles inheritance reusing inherit means reuse reusing classes next polymorphism abstraction encapsulation see uh, these concepts are enough for our 